working for Team USA, and I'm currently a uh, athlete fellow in the legal department at LHU8. I grew up in Albany, New York, and I spent the first uh, about 20 years of my life there. Went to college in upstate New York. After college, I ended up relocating to the west of France in Marin. I originally went there just for uh, a year or two as a teaching assistant, and I ended up staying for eight years. When I came back, I was looking to continue some judo training, and my childhood coach had relocated from Albany to San Antonio, Texas. So I went to San Antonio, Texas and bought a house there. And then about three or four months ago, I found out about the LA 28 opportunity for the fellowship and now I'm here. I have a pretty good level of ADHD and my parents didn't quite know what to do with me when I was about seven years old. And I kept for various reasons getting asked to leave different after school activities like ballet and little league and art school. And my father had done judo and so he took me to his home club in upstate New York and I did a little bit of judo as a kid for fun. And then when I was about 14, my first club closed and I was looking for something to do and my dad was like, oh, well there's this other judo club. And that club happened to be run by uh, my current coach, uh, Jim Herbeck, who was the 92 Olympic coach. And that's kind of where it all started for real when I was about 14. Well, a lot of people don't know this, um, but I was born with 50% uh, hearing loss in both ears. It's uh, what they call sensory neural hearing loss, which means pretty much like I'm missing some of the nerves that conduct sound at certain frequencies. So there's some frequencies I can hear as normal, and there's some frequencies I can't hear at all. For the most part, I don't have uh, any impact on my speech, or I usually understand everything that people are telling me. I learned a second language. Language. I speak French fluently. However, um, without hearing aids, it's a whole different story. I'm often pretty lost. And uh, one of the things that, as an athlete, you cannot wear hearing aids unless you compete. It would actually probably cause a lot of injury to me. But I guess the best way to describe it is it kind of sounds like everything's underwater. I never really let it stop me. A lot of times people were saying, oh, well, yeah, Nina's good, but oh, she can't hear a coach. Or, oh, Nina's good, but this. And I'm like, I don't know what it's like to like compete with full hearing because I've never had that. So this is my only reality is that I don't hear well, um, but with the communication with coaches and with like hand signals and stuff like that, I've been able to adapt. It.